humming them or singing them. It's now prayer time. We are humbled to be on God's holy ground in God's presence. You can bring anything that you want to God in prayer. God is big enough. God is great enough. Certainly bigger than any problem that you might face. Any situation that you want to bring to the Lord. God is able. First of all, he knows all about it already. He was there when the problem got started. Whatever it is that you're bringing to the Lord. The Lord wants you to seek so that you can find that you will knock so that the door will be open to you ask and your prayer will be answered. Those that desire may come and stand around the altar. You may stay where you are. We just want to approach God's throne together with the spirit of humility. Father, we praise you and we thank you right now. Just thank you for this opportunity to come before your throne right now, Father. We thank you, O oh God, that you ushered us into your presence, O oh God. And we know that you are great and mighty. O oh God, you are in all places at the same time, O oh God. You are all powerful, O oh God, that you know everything, O oh God. And we so we're just humbled right now that we can just come into your presence, O oh God. We just thank you. Father, that you continue to make a way for us, oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you allow your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, O oh God, to cover us with his blood. We thank you right now, O oh God, that it's in his name that we come right now, O oh God. For certainly we have done nothing to deserve to be in your presence right now. So we thank you, Lord, that you made a way, O oh God. We thank you that you continue to intercede on our behalf. We thank you, O oh God, that you know what it is that we want to pray about, O oh God. So first of all, God, we just thank you right now. We thank you for all your blessings, all your glory, O oh God, that is filling this place. We thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit, O oh God, that gives us the words to say, that guides us and leads us along the path that you would have us to go on, O oh God. So Lord, first of all, we lift up any that are sick, Oh, God, that you would just move in a mighty way. We thank you, Lord, that you said in your word that by your stripes we are healed. So, Lord, we just speak to that illness right now and declare that illness must be gone in the name of Jesus. That illness, that sickness that has someone worried, oh, God, just remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, just begin to heal. Just continue to heal. Continue to strengthen, oh God, and those people, oh God, that we're lifting up to you right now. Father, we ask you that you would move in every heart that's in this place, oh God. Every family, oh God, is represented here, oh God. That you would continue to strengthen our family ties. That you would continue to strengthen the love that we have within our families, oh God. Bless this new life family, oh God. Bless us and strengthen us. Continue to bind us together with your love, O oh Lord. Continue to bless those that weren't able to make it out today, O oh God. 
Guide them, O oh God, in their activities that they're doing today. Keep them safe, O oh God. Send them to a house of worship, O oh God, that they can worship and praise your holy name. Father, we lift up any that are traveling, O oh God, and just ask you that you continue to give them traveling mercies, O oh Lord. We thank you for all your blessings, Lord. Lord God, we just thank you for those that are in need, O oh God. Father, we just lift up every need right now to you in the name of Jesus. Father, that you would just fill every need, oh God. Lord, we know that as we continue to give to you, oh God, that you promised that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. We thank you, Lord, for the promises in your word, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, that you brought us into a period of testing and trial, oh God. And you said that count it all joy when we encounter various trials, knowing that the trying of our faith produces patience. Lord, and we want patience to have his perfect work, oh God, that we can be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Amen. Just work it out in us, oh God. Yes. Work it out in us, Lord. For we want you to get the glory. We want you to get the honor, oh God. Continue to bless this ministry, oh God, that we can meet the needs of your people right here in Indian Head, oh God. Just use us in a mighty way, oh God. We know we're small in number, oh God, but Lord, with you, that doesn't matter, oh God, for little becomes much. When we place it in your hands, oh God, just continue to have your way, oh God, continue to have your way. We'll always give you the praise and the glory. Just work it out, oh God, work it out. We thank you for the testimonies, oh God. We thank you for what you've already done, Lord, and we know that if you did it for one, Lord God, that you can do it for another. And Lord, we know we're not going to wait until the battle is over. We know that the battle is yours, oh God, and that you're fighting on our behalf. So we're going to give you the praise and the glory. We're going to shout out hallelujah to your name, God. Give you all the praise and all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Glory, 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 God. Glory, God. Glory, glory, God. Glory, Lord. Glory, God. Glory, Lord. So have your way. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.